zippity doo da zippity day my oh my it is thursday third day of october 2024 i am dan coons this is wake up in Anchi valley beautiful morning 43 degrees sun is just starting to peak over the east Anchi bench very pleasant day today no complaints at all a lot of sunshine temperatures about normal close to 70 it's going to take a while to warm up it's only 43 right now it's pretty cold in some other locations i'll get to that in just a little bit so a great looking day today. Tonight's looking nice. Friday morning, okay. Friday afternoon, a fast moving cold front. Whew, here it comes. Uh, gonna give us a lot of wind. It's gonna cool us down. We could see some rain. They're kind of hedging their bets on the amount of rain we could see Friday afternoon and Friday night because of course, we're in the lee of the Cascades. It's coming right in that direction. So most of the rain we think will be relegated to the upper elevations in the far eastern part or far western part of Chelan County, and then again in the far eastern part of the state. We may, we may not get any rain at all, or we could get some. We'll know a lot more uh, tomorrow, but it could make for a pretty interesting broadcast up in Kashmir tomorrow for the Bulldogs and the Royal Knights. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But get ready for a pretty interesting Friday afternoon and Friday night, and then a good looking weekend. Uh, we got the forecast coming up. We got news, uh, of course we got news. Uh, sports, playoffs. Three of the first four wildcard series are done deal. Sweeps across the board with one exception. We'll talk about that. We'll preview the big Cashmere Royal football game that we're going to be broadcasting tomorrow night. A lot of prep sports to touch on. We'll check, check in with the Seahawks as well. Thursday, pause for pets. Who needs a permanent home? Sarge needs a permanent home for the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. We'll check in with Corley and the gang. And as you know by now, uh, this television station earlier in the week was purchased by WIC Communications. We have new ownership. WIC Communications is also the parent company of the Wenatchee World. And so our very own Jefferson Robbins, our news director, sat down with um, Riley Needler, who is the chief of staff of WIC Communications. He's based out of Arizona, but he's in town during this transition. And also the publisher of the Wenatchee World, Sean Flattery, will be joining Jefferson to talk about this whole new media landscape here in North Central Washington. Don't miss that interview. That's in the back half of the program. And we begin our tour right at sunrise. 703, if you're watching the live version of Wake Up in Anchi Valley. And as you can see, it is a beautiful day. But boy, check out some of these other temperatures. We're at 43. Ellensburg is at 30. Moses Lake is at 34. Manson's at 35. Omax at 42. Dryden's at 37. It is very cool. In many locations, there's no clouds. The days are shorter, so there's nothing to hold the radiant heat in. That's what's going to happen. Check out this shot from our Lake Wenatchee camera. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That will burn off. We've talked about this before. When the temperature of the air and the temperature of the water differentiate large enough, the water is warmer than the air. Uh, that's what happens. Then, of course, as the air warms up and the sun climbs up in the sky, those low clouds that are hovering right over the surface of Lake Wenatchee will eventually uh, burn off and they'll have a nice day uh, the, today as well. They're going to get windy. Lake Wenatchee has a pretty good chance of getting some rain tomorrow night. Wind for everybody, by the way. Let's go up to the Chelan Butte and look across the Columbia River Gorge to Waterville. That's Waterville way, way off in the distance. This is the camera that's at the very tip top of Chelan Butte, a little over 4,000 feet above sea level. You just can't quite make out the Columbia River. A couple of slivers down there and that's about it. And that is pointed almost due east, kind of southeast towards Waterville. Good morning to Waterville. I see one cloud and that's it. And the monitor camera looking right up the valley. Monitor up to Kashmir, up to Dryden, up to Peshastim. With the Cascades uh, off in the distance, the enchantments, a beautiful view there. I guess all that's left is, is well, apples, of course, and pears. That's about it. Everything else is pretty much off, uh, off the trees there. Beautiful view from our monitor camera, high above monitor proper looking right up the valley. Beautiful view there. I mentioned it's going to be gusty on Friday. They're a little unsure on the computer models how much rain we're going to get because we are in the lee of the Cascades and that usually keeps us fairly dry. We don't know. We, we, we think we could get some light rain late this at, late yesterday, late tomorrow, excuse me, late tomorrow afternoon into Friday night. What we do know is it is going to be Windy here in the Wenatchee Valley, about 20 miles an hour sustained winds and gusts above 30 miles an hour. And obviously with the gusty conditions, uh, could make visibility poor. They had that really bad dust storm uh, back on Sunday. 
out in the uh, out of the eastern Washington, and they could see something similar to that. So if you're driving on I-90, pretty much the entire eastern Washington stretch of I-90 from Vantage to Spokane tomorrow afternoon, and a lot of people will. I mean, people go places on Friday after work, uh, and Waterville to Davenport. Uh, you could watch. You could have some uh, blowing and dust really cutting down in your visibility. That's never good. You like to, It's always nice to see where it is that you're driving. Clouds and dust, uh, ain't so good. And fog to boot. From the National Weather Service in detail, here we go. Nothing to talk about today, nothing but sunshine. A little breezy, nothing much. Nothing like it was yesterday. It'll be very nice, maybe 10 miles an hour here and there. 69 for our forecast high, our normal high this time of the year, 69. Looks pretty normal to me. 43 for the overnight low tonight, which is where we're sitting at right now. Friday in the morning, things are pretty quiet, and then starting noon or 1 o'clock, here comes this cold front. It's going to uh, cloud us up. It's going to kick up the wind. Uh, we could see some rain. Now, the chance of rain, they don't really know. They're, they're saying 50%, but as I mentioned before, a lot of it depends on how much of the rain is falls in the Cascades before it even makes it to the Wenatchee Valley. So we could get some light rain, we could get no rain. We are gonna get a lot of wind tomorrow and we'll top off at 65, so it's gonna be cool. Bundle up if you're heading to Kashmir Friday night, folks, uh, because uh, it's still gonna be windy, although the winds should die down by kickoff, we are told. And then we're looking good, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, I'm liking all of that stuff. Things are good, folks. All right, gonna take a break at seven minutes after the hour and then we'll do the news. You're watching Wake Up Wenatchee Valley on the NCW Life Channel. Enjoy the sounds of summer from your very own pool and spa. Blue Lagoon is now scheduling pool installations for this summer. Call today to schedule a free consultation for a custom San Juan fiberglass pool. And let the experts at Blue Lagoon handle the construction, installation, and regular maintenance. Turn your boring backyard into vacation paradise this summer with industry-leading San Juan pool. No need to go off the deep end. Relax knowing you're in great hands with Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa. The family at the Epladolin want to help your loved one feel at ease in their new home environment. Epladolin offers beautiful one bedroom and studio apartments. Residents enjoy three delicious home style meals a day, laundry service, housekeeping service, and encouragement to make themselves cozy in their new home. Epladolin welcomes your family to come and visit their family. Epladolin, independent and assisted living. They make the complicated easy for you. Call today for a tour. I'm Jim Heinlein at Springwater Insurance, and rumors about Medicare are circulating, and that's unfortunate. As licensed agents, we are not to discuss or hint about plan changes until October 1st. This helps prevent confusion. So join us on October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at the Wenatchee Convention Center. I, with my staff, have studied all the plan changes you'll be faced with, and we'll teach you about your options for Medicare health and drug plans. Give us a call to let us know what day you'll be attending, 509-888-2600. It might be sunny now, but fall is in the air, and we've got you covered here on the NCW Life Channel. If it's Wenatchee Panther football, volleyball, or girls soccer, we've got you covered. So tune in to your local TV station, the NCW Life Channel, for Wenatchee Panther sports. Coverage is presented by our platinum supporter, Alpine Air Heating and Cooling, Abby's Pizza, Apple Valley Honda, Coldwell Banker Cascade Real Estate, Global Car Care, Harvest Valley Pest Control, and Highlander Golf Course and Grill. Forty-three degrees, very pleasant day today. Lots of sunshine, about 69 or so. Very little wind to speak of. Things will be changing, as you know by now, tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night with some wind and the possibility of some rain, and then right back to quiet and benign weather. It's nine minutes after the hour. This is, this is a sobering story. Six domestic dogs are being held in Grant County Animal Shelter after attacking and injuring a 67-year-old woman. The Grand County Sheriff's Office says the attack happened at about 7 o'clock Tuesday morning in the 8,000 block of Road 10 Northwest. That's about nine miles southwest of Afreda. A neighbor heard the victim screaming for help, came to intervene, and then drove the victim to her home. EMTs were called and took the woman to Columbia Basin Hospital for medical attention. Deputies say the dogs belonged to a nearby owner who surrendered all six to animal control. They're now being kept at Grant County Animal Outreach for a 10-day hold in case of rabies. The incident, as you might imagine, is under investigation. 
The woman accused of stealing tens of thousands of dollars from central Washington banks, including one in Leavenworth, is now charged in Benton County. Andrea Estelle Cochran of Texas, she allegedly crafted phony passports in the names of various bank account holders and then withdrew money from bank branches in Chelan, Kittitas, Benton, and Snohomish counties, as well as West Seattle and Everett. At the Leavenworth branch of Cashmere Valley Bank alone, Cochran allegedly made off with almost $11,000 in cash. She was arrested four months ago in Maine, where she's accused of trying to the same tactic. She's being held on a federal passport fraud charge. Benton County prosecutors are the first to file local charges in our state. They took out a warrant in September to have Cochran face trial on a single count of first degree identity theft. The city of East Wenatchee has announced the launch of a new pre-approved accessory dwelling unit program. ADUs are small residential units constructed on existing properties and they often are a helpful option for families looking to expand living space or offer rental opportunities. The city's new program includes 15 pre-approved designs for dwellings. They range from about 400 square feet to about 1,200 square feet. That makes constructing ADUs for local residents easier because they know what they have that's already been approved. The design plan comes at no cost to the property owner. East Wenatchee Community Development Director Curtis Lilliquist said the city hopes that the program will, quote, make it easier to create affordable housing options, end quote. Well, if you see flames coming from the old Apple Cup Cafe come November in Chelan, it's supposed to be burning down. The fire that occurred back in March caused a substantial amount of damage, and rather than to fix the existing building, the owners have decided to demolish the building. So the building has been donated to Chelan Fire and Rescue, and they're going to conduct a live fire training exercise before the structure is finally torn down. The control burn will begin at 8.30 in the morning on November 9th, it's expected to last about four or five hours. Obviously, they're going to close off the 800 block of East Wooden Avenue while they do it, but members of the public are still invited to watch. They'll have a safe designated viewing area that will be available to the public to check it out. Speaking of Lake Chelan, Lake Chelan Health Hospital has announced a partnership with Rural Physicians Group. They're going to begin offering 24-7 hospitalist care for patients. The Rural Physicians Group is a network of physicians dedicated to helping underserved hospitals in rural communities, and they're going to begin providing round-the-clock hospitalist services on January 14th. A hospitalist is a medical doctor who deals strictly with patients receiving inpatient care. Benefits of the new program will include faster transitions from the ER to inpatient beds, greater ability to care for acutely ill patients, increased opportunities for complex surgical cases, and more. And Wenatchee City Council Member Linda Harold and Wenatchee Valley Chamber of Commerce Director Steve Wilkinson. They're among those delegates soaking up the sights and sounds of Masawa, Japan. It's the annual sister city exchange between the two communities. It's been going on since almost every year, since 1981. The next set of delegates from Masawa that will visit our area will come in the spring of 2025. They usually come during the Apple Blossom Festival. We make our visit in late September and early October. About 600 Wenatchee Valley residents have now visited Misawa as official delegates since this began about 33 years ago. And that's the news at 14 minutes after the hour. If you, are, if you think knowing what's going on around here is an important part of your daily life, we have a little program. It's called the NCW Life Evening News. It airs on television at 5, 6, and 10. 5, 6, and 10 on television. If you have a smart TV or a tablet or whatever, and you want to consume your news whenever you're ready to do it, no problem. Got you covered there. Our newscast will be up and running on our homepage, ncwlife.com, our Facebook page, our YouTube page. You know the drill by now. And, uh, and it'll be up and running right around 5 o'clock. And if there's something out there that you think is newsworthy, you get a hold of us, you send us an email. News at ncwlife.com. Sports, quite a bit for a Thursday morning, as a matter of fact. If you don't believe me, stick around. We'll do it in two minutes. You're watching Wake Up on Angie Valley on the NCW Life channel. I'm Jen Mueller. Watch for my show, I Cook You Measure on NCW Life. 
It's part cooking instruction, part entertainment, and all about connecting over food and wine with your favorite Northwest athletes. Watch I Cook, You Measure with Jen Mueller Mondays at 1, Wednesdays at 2, Fridays at 11 a.m. and Saturday and Sundays at 10.30 p.m. Right here on the NCW Live channel. It's a great time to go into the medical profession. And this is the perfect place to start because this is going to provide you that basic understanding in order to get into medical school, physical therapy school. So when you are ready to head on your career pathway, wherever it is, then you've already had some experience and say, oh, it's so cool. This is exactly what I want to do. So really, you're going to leave me with 13 college credits and a license with the state of Washington. At Abby's, it's kind of simple. We're not rocket scientists. We just make great pizza. When you're ready for traditional values, time with your family, and a great meal, you're invited to Abby's. Order at abbys.com. Our family is here for your family. It's fall. Want a great value that doesn't involve pumpkin spice? Try Abby's Barbecue Chicken Pizza. Save and enjoy a pizza with loads of quality toppings to the edge. Your taste buds and your wallet will thank you. Enjoy Abby's October special at a very special price. There's no place like home. Because home is where we're totally comfortable. It's where we can be ourselves and let our guards down. It's where we make memories and we're always imagining new ways to keep it totally comfortable. Carrier, total comfort, totally happy. Turn to the experts, Carrier and Alpine Air. Heat and air, call Alpine Air. Seventeen minutes after the hour, four playoff games yesterday decided three of the four wildcard series. One left to be decided today. Detroit came from behind. They beat Houston to knock the Astros out of the playoffs 5-2. The Tigers advance. They'll take on the Guardians Saturday in the American League Division Series. The Royals swept both games in Baltimore. They knocked the Orioles out of the playoffs. 2-1 to one was the final yesterday. So it's the Royals and the Yankees in the American League Division Series. That will begin Saturday afternoon. The Brewers stayed off elimination. They won. They beat the Mets in a great game. The final was 5-3. to three. The Brewers tied it on a homer in the eighth. They went ahead on Garrett Mitchell's home run, and they won it. They'll finish up that series today, 4 o'clock, first pitch on ESPN. And the Padres swept aside the Braves 5-4, to four, scoring all five of the runs the Padres would need in the second inning. San Diego will take on Los Angeles, the Dodgers, in the National League Division Series. Game one there on Saturday. Seahawks back at work, of course, they're bouncing back from their first loss of the season. The one and three New York football Giants come to Seattle Sunday, 105 kickoff at Lumen Field. Coach Mike McDonald asked about the team's mentality on bouncing back from the 42 to 29 loss at Detroit. I think, you know, our, the, every day's approach is going to be the same expectation. Um, we're trying to improve, we're trying to take the next step. Uh, let's look at what happened through an impartial eye so we can attack the problems and uh, let's move forward to keep it positive man there's a lot of good stuff on tape a lot of stuff we obviously need to you know fix and, and make right so uh, but that's the case anytime we step foot out there and and, uh, and toe the line so uh, that, that'll be the same mentality. Seahawks fell behind early and that means they had to throw and throw again and keep throwing McDonald was asked if he's concerned about having to pass too many times per game. Yeah, there's no, we're not we're shooting for a number of passes or whatever going into each game. I think it's just what, what it takes to be successful. Trying to put our guys in best positions. I think Geno's uh, operating the offense at a really high level where we're getting in and out of certain plays. Uh, that, that'll dictate some run or pass in certain situations. But uh, I think the guys are confident. I think there's a lot of great execution out there. You've seen the O-line start to come together. So uh, it's, we're moving in the right direction. And, and we'll see, you know, I'm not really worried about the, the pass play numbers right now, but um, yeah, you're right, it just doesn't feel that many. I mean, the way this game played out, you know, turned into a drop back fest, which it needed to be, you know, for in order for us to have a chance to win the game. So some, you know, some games kind of dictate those terms. Sunday's game, by the way, between the Seahawks and the Giants will be broadcast on your local CBS affiliate. Not a lot of college football around the Northwest this weekend. First of all, the Cougars and the Eagles, they don't play. They have the weekend off. The Huskies will host 10th-ranked Michigan. It's a rematch of last year's national championship. Of course, both teams aren't the same. The game at Husky Stadium kicks off at 4.30 
on NBC and on Peacock. Central Washington is on the road at Eastern New Mexico. Kickoff set at 5.30. Prep football weekend gets underway tonight. In Pateras, the Billy Goats host Soap Lake in Central Washington 1B football, 7 o'clock kickoff tonight. Andy Att will be at Oroville tomorrow at 5. Waterville Mansfield visits Bridgeport at 7. Manson hosts Lake Roosevelt. That's the only straight across 2B game. That'll be tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Quincy is on the road at Prosser in CWAC football tomorrow night at 7. Afraid to host a non-leaguer against Davis. That'll be interesting. Sela is at Toppenish. Othello will host East Valley Grandview Travels to Ellensburg. Chelan at Okanagan tomorrow at 5 o'clock. OMAC plays host to Brewster at 7.30. Cascade travels to Tenasket for an 8.30 kickoff. 8.30 kickoff uh, between Cascade and Tenasket. That's pretty late. And of course, we got a big one tomorrow night in South Central Athletic Conference football. It's the showdown between Cashmere at Royal. Kicks off at 7 o'clock. Zillow will host Keona Benton. Natchez Valley visits Connell. Wapato will host College Place. And Waluke will be at Granger. And the matchup between Cashmere and Royal features two offenses that are very prolific and two defenses that don't give up much. The Bulldogs are ranked ninth in the latest WIAA RPI ranking. They have an average of 340 yards of offense per game, scoring an average of 57 points per game. Ryland Hatmaker is the junior quarterback for Cashmere. He's third in the league in passing, 72% of his throws, 681 yards, 15 touchdowns, only one interception. Cashmere coach Brian Bremer says the game will come down to which team makes the fewest mistakes. It, you know, you would love to say it's going to come down to who wants it more, but I don't believe that's true because I believe both teams are uh, – well disciplined, they're going to want. They're going to want. They're going to want to win the football game. Uh, it's going to come down to who makes the least amount of mistakes and and penalties and how you control the ball and how you take care of the football. Uh, obviously, we believe in the in the turnover battle and turnover margin plays a big part in in, in a game of football. Uh, we've done a good job of taking it away and we've got a, we've done a good job this year of, of, of holding on to it. So uh, I think if we win the turnover uh, battle, take care of the football, tackle well, and play, you know, you're not going to play mistake free football. You know. To be honest, the biggest thing we really talk about all week is you're playing Royal, they're really good. We know that. And so many people get so uptight that you have to play a perfect game. You do not have to play perfect. Because when you play perfect, you're going to make more mistakes than if you just lay back and just play ball. Uh, and that's really what we're really looking forward to is just playing free. Our own Eric Granstrom caught up with the Cashmere captains prior to tomorrow night's game against Royal. Jacob Savage and Brody Larson talked about overcoming mistakes and circling this game on the calendar. I'll ask you the same question about overcoming maybe some negatives. You know, you turn the ball over, you get a big play that's called back because of a penalty. Not that that happens, but, you know, it's football. So how do you overcome that? Uh, it's all really just your mentality. You just got to keep going, put your put your hand in the ground and go. I mean, you know, one big play goes wrong, you just got to get back to it, you know. How have you been able to focus game to game and not look forward to week five tonight? I mean, we've had the mentality all season, to one week at a time. I mean, we still had this week circled on the calendar since we've known it's been coming. Yeah. But we've had the mentality with train stops, um, train roll on every week. I mean, focus on the game at hand and get it done. Kickoff, 7 o'clock tomorrow night in Cashmere. We will be there. Eric Granstrom and Grant Olson with the call. Pre-game at 6.30. If you don't want to brave the elements in it, could be... A little temperamental from Mother Nature's side. You can just watch it on television right here. Big Nine football schedule. Moses Lake is on the road. They'll be in Yakima, the gateway to Wapato. They'll take on Ike tomorrow night at uh, 7 o'clock. Sunday side will host West Valley. And, of course, Saturday is the Bridges Sportsmanship Game. East Smart and Wenatchee. Lee Boftel Field at the Apple Bowl. Kickoff at 6 o'clock. And, yep, we'll have it right here on the NCAA Live Channel pregame at 5.30. To the pitch we go. The soccer schedule. 4 o'clock this afternoon, Brewster hosts Chelan, Okanagan's at Cascade, Pateras welcomes Liberty Bell, Toppenish will take on OMAC at 6.30, Bridgeport will host Lake Roosevelt, and then at 6, it's Zilla at Cashmere, Manson visits Orbill, and uh, volleyball, look at this, there's a lot of volleyball going on tonight. Just take a look at where you want to go, because it's all right there. Volleyball tonight in the Big Nine at Sunnyside at Wenatchee and Eastmont at Moses Lake. That's a lot of volleyball. And those are just some of the games that people are playing at 24 minutes after the hour. Happy Independence Day in Iraq. It's Iraqi Independence Day. Now, how much independence uh, people who live in Iraq have, I, I don't know. Uh, but no, today, the obscure holiday is National Techies Day. We all know techies or work with techies. People who just know how certain things work. People who are essentially smarter than I am. 
Fun facts about technology. Samsung was founded as a grocery store in 1938. How a grocery store became an electronics giant is beyond me. One gigabyte is equal to 1,204 megabytes. One petabyte is equal to 1,024 terabytes. So a 50 petabyte hard drive could hold the entire written works of all mankind in all languages since the dawn of writing. That's impressive. There are computers designed specifically for the Amish. They don't have video, they can't play music, and they can't connect to the internet. Makes you wonder why they even bother. In 2010, the U.S. Air Force used 1,760 PlayStation consoles to build a supercomputer for the Department of Defense. Over 6,000 new computer viruses are created and released into the internet every month, and approximately 40% of all American couples now have met online. Hmm. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Yeah, okay, happy birthday to all you techies out there. Maybe it's your birthday today. 26 minutes after the hour today in history, the very first Thanksgiving was proclaimed by George Washington. On this date in 1789, George Washington said that coming up this Thursday, November 26th, will be a Thanksgiving day for the United States. There is the proclamation, and it started a tradition that went nowhere until Abe Lincoln looked it up, probably found the, the note sitting in a desk drawer somewhere in the White House. October 3rd, 1863, 161 years ago, the last Thursday in November was declared as a Thanksgiving day by Abraham Lincoln. There's the proclamation. It would become, wouldn't become a federal holiday until 1870. That's when President Grant signed into law the Holidays Act. And since then, Thanksgiving is a yearly federal holiday, the fourth Thursday in November. So Thanksgiving has two birthdays. One in uh, 1789 and one in 1863. The most famous home run in baseball history quite probably occurred on this date at the Polo Grounds in New York 73 years ago today. Game three of the three-game series for the National League pennant between the Dodgers and the Yankees. As we roll footage, I'll, I'll set the stage for you here. Uh, first of all, the Dodgers, there's a scene at the Polo Grounds in New York on a Wednesday afternoon. Dodgers uh, went out to a, a four to one lead. They hit the ball pretty good on the road. So the Dodger fans were looking pretty good. They were feeling pretty good. Of course, the Dodgers had a huge lead and they blew it. They ended up tied. This is a three game playoff series. The Giants won game one, the Dodgers won game two. This is game three to go to the World Series. In the bottom of the ninth inning, trailing four to one, Alvin Dark of the Giants led off with a base hit. Don Mueller also had a base hit. Uh, Monty Irvin then fouled out, and that was followed by Waddy Lockman, who hit a double. That scored Alvin Dark, and now it's 4-2. to two. Don Mueller, by the way, hurt his ankle sliding into the third. He was replaced by a pinch runner. Uh, Don Newcomb, at this point, the starting pitcher for the uh, Brooklyn Dodgers, was obviously getting quite tired. It was time to replace him. Charlie Dressen sends in Ralph Branca. Ralph Branca replaces Don Newcomb with runners on second and third. That was Lockman and Hardig. Bobby Thompson comes to the plate. And well, as we roll the rest of this footage, there's the last of the, there's the base hit that scored, uh, the double that scored dark. So here it is. It is four to three Dodgers, two outs in the ninth inning. And here is Bobby Thompson's famous home run. One out, last of the ninth. Back of pitches. Bobby Thompson takes a strike call on the inside. And finally, on this date 29 years ago today, O.J. Simpson is acquitted in the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. I remember that day. Birthdays. Happy birthday, Ernie Evans. Ernie Evans is 83. You know him as Chubby Checker. He actually played Wenatchee once at the Apple Bowl a long time ago. Chubby Checker. Come on, baby, let's do the twist. It's pony time again. He's 83 years old today. 
Lindsey Buckingham, of course, a longtime member of Fleetwood Mac from the mid 70s until he was fired from the group back in 2018. Great songwriter, excellent guitarist, Lindsey Buckingham, 75 years old today. One of the greatest athletes of all time, Dave Winfield. How good was he? Following college at the University of Minnesota, he was drafted by the San Diego Padres of baseball, which he ended up playing. He was also drafted by the Atlanta Hawks of the ABA and the Utah Stars, and he was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings. They all drafted him. They all wanted him, and he didn't even play football. Dave Winfield, Baseball Hall of Famer, 73 years old today, the late, great Stevie Ray Vaughan. Thank goodness we still have the music. Now, if there's one Stevie Ray Vaughan record to buy, it would be Soul to Soul. They're all good. They all have good songs. Soul to Soul is his best album from beginning to end, Stevie Ray Vaughan. We lost him all those years ago, born in the state in 1954. And the most famous golfer to come out of the Pacific Northwest, Fred Couples. He's in the Golf Hall of Fame. He is 65 years old today. People ask me what my swing looks like. I said, look, just look at Fred Couples' swing. That's exactly what mine looks like. I am, of course, lying. Special thanks to our platinum sponsor, Alpine Air. For heat and air, call Alpine Air. The cold air is coming. Winter is coming. Your HVAC system is going to really be taxed, as it is every year. Is it going to be ready for the upcoming cold? Give Alpine Air a call. They'll come out and do a little tune-up, if necessary, for heat and air. Call Alpine Air. Mike Minotti has got an opinion coming up. As you know, we have new ownership. Jefferson Robbins. I uh, talked to a couple of the folks from uh, WIC Communications and the Wenatchee World. You don't want to miss that. But first things first, Sarge the dog needs a home. It's Paws for Pets. Pause for Pets is presented to you by Alpine Air Heating and Cooling, Mary Maids, the Wenatchee Valley Dispute Resolution Center, and Club Crow Bar and Grill. Hi, I'm Corley with Wenatchee Valley Humane Society, Animal Care Manager. And today, I have a very special guest. This is Sarge. He's our three-year-old um, Great Pyrenees mixed with, um, what was it, cattle dog, I believe. Uh, we actually know that, and he's a couple other things, because his foster mom had a DNA test done on him. <laughs> so some of us here at the shelter lost some bets. <laughs> but it's always fun to guess, and now we know exactly what you are. But Sarge is a special case because he came to us about three months ago as a stray, and when we got him, he was um, pretty seriously injured. He had, uh, we found him with a bullet in his shoulder, and um, the vet ended up having to amputate, so he has no leg. And it was kind of touch and go there, but you made it. And we had a really generous foster come forward to take care of him. And he, so he spent a couple months recuperating in her home. And uh, now he's healthy and back with us looking for his permanent forever home. He could not be a better boy. He's really quiet, um, he's playful, he's goofy. He, I don't think he even knows that he's missing a leg. He gets around so well. Um, he'll run and, and play and jump just like other dogs. And he's really sweet. I was just tossing the ball to him and he was dropping it at my feet, waiting for me to re-throw it. He loves that game. We do know because of his time in foster that he can be a little dog selective with friends. So we always recommend that if you have a dog you're interested, you bring your dog in to meet him too. Um, we also know that he finds cats um, way too exciting. <laughs> so <laughs> we don't really recommend cats in the home if you have one. <laughs> but um, as, you know, as a single, single child, we think he'd be perfect. Look at his face. <laughs> He's just the best boy. And he knows his commands. He can sit and he can lay down. And yeah, he doesn't seem to notice that he doesn't have a leg when he lays down. He does it really well. So if you'd like to come and meet Sarge, oh, our Sarge boy, uh, we're open <laughs> Thursday through Tuesday, 12.30 to 6, or 6. And uh, Wednesday too, if you want to make an appointment online. Um, we would love you to come meet him. Give them a call at 509-662-9577 or visit their website at wenatchehumane.org. Pause for Pets is presented to you by Alpine Air Heating and Cooling, Mary Maids, the Wenatchee Valley Dispute Resolution Center, and Club Crow Bar and Grill. Want to stay up to date on the latest news in the area? Tired of paying for your news? Download the NCW Life app now. 
no subscriptions necessary. Get news, weather, sports, and more live as it happens. Available for iPhone and Android in the App Store. Local news at your fingertips. Don't miss the stories that matter to you. Stay connected. Download the NCW Life app now. ClubProCashmere.com for upcoming events and tickets. A ductless unit from Carrier can keep anyone comfortable. Take Shelly, for instance. She finds me time in her new attic turned home gym. And with her Carrier ductless unit, the temperature is always perfect. No matter how intense her workout gets. Carrier, total comfort, totally happy. Turn to the experts, Carrier and Alpine Air. Heat and air, call Alpine Air. Hello, could I have tickets please? Oh, the Discovery Center is free to visit. So you're telling me we could look at the fish for free? Yep, that's free. But how much is it to drive the steamboat? Todo es gratis. So you're telling me that we could go play on the playground? Still free. It's free. Exactly. Gratis, gratis, gratis. The Discovery Center at Rocky Beach. It's free. In Digital Media Arts Program, we learn about video production gear and editing by the combination of class projects and nonprofit work and employment. Over there. It makes things happen. Yeah. It's pretty magical. We work in the industry at the Wenatchee Road, NCW Life Channel, and the Town Toyota Center event. Every day we work with industry standard equipment for a hands-on learning experience. Doug McNaughty and everybody is entitled to my opinion now. Now, some of my cop buddies have retired and they moved to Florida. Good for them, I'll salute. As much as I don't like the winners here, though, I'd have worse problems with the other issues that come about with enjoying a Floridian paradise. <laughs> I recently want to quote, read a quote from one of my favorite authors, Scott Turo, who commented about those who escaped to Florida to get away from the financial and political stuff they don't like up north. He said that, Toro said that, with swamps and alligators inland and the gated communities and shopping malls and the traffic clotted towns along the coast, Florida seems like a great penal colony for America's elderly who have been blinded by the sun and do not realize they are actually in hell. <laughs> This is Mike Mad Dog Magnati, and that's my opinion. <laughs> Another fall sports season is upon us. Yes, we'll be talking about East Watt football, but also volleyball and girls' soccer. Be sure and join us for the East Watt Wildcats all season long right here on the NCW Life Channel, your local TV station. Coverage is presented by Alpine Air Heating and Cooling. Kennedy Real Estate Group, Les Schwab, Sangster Motors, Save Mart, Together for You, and Valley Tractor. Global Car Care has the best customer service in the Valley. From the moment you walk in the door, their goal is to help you stay on the road so you can keep doing what's important to you.
Global Car Care Certified ASE Mechanics stand behind your automotive repairs. When you buy tires at Les Schwab, you're getting more than just tires. You're getting America's best tire warranty, 60-day satisfaction guarantee, no hassle road hazard protection, and free maintenance for the life of your tires. So if something happens to your tire on the road, we'll fix it or we'll replace it, no questions asked. Other places make you pay extra for that kind of protection. But at Les Schwab, it's included with every set of tires because more warranty means less worry. And nobody stands by their tires like Les Schwab. Get more from Les. Highlander Golf Course and Grill, located in East Wenatchee, offers terrific views and challenging play for golfers at every skill level. From the golf course to the grill, you don't need to be a member to dine in style and play golf too. Highlander's well-groomed fairways and greens keep it difficult, yet friendly for your regular rounds of golf or a new destination for you and your out-of-town friends. Contact the Highlander Pro Shop today to schedule your tee time, outing, or tournament. Open seven days a week, where everyone is welcome to play and eat. Are you dealing with a pest or weed issue and you just don't know what to do? We use the best pest control methods approved for areas with kids and pets. Whether it's rats, mice, ants, or spiders, or something else altogether. We provide the coaching and solutions you're looking for. And you can know that your dollars are supporting a local, family-owned and operated business. Allow us to help you get back to living healthy and pest-free. Harvest Valley Pest Control. Jefferson Robbins with NCW Life, which as you may have heard, became part of a new media family this week, the Wenatchee World, owned by WIC Communications of Arizona, acquired our TV station, NCW Life TV, from its former owners at Localtel. Localtel in turn was recently purchased by Zipley. That deal just recently completed. This deal became effective October 1st. This TV station and the Wenatchee Valley's oldest newspaper are part of the same enterprise. What does this mean for you, the viewers and readers in the community? I'm joined by two gentlemen who might have the answers to that. Riley Needler, the Chief of Staff for WIC Communications, and Sean Flaherty, publisher for the Wenatchee World. Thank you both for being here. Yeah, thank thanks, you, Jefferson. Sir. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> Maybe I'll turn to you first, Riley, for this question. What led WIC Communications to want to make this purchase of NCW Life? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, we've known of NCW Life for a long time. You know, I'm from the Valley originally. I worked for the Manatee World for many years as a reporter and photographer. And, you know, we've always been aware of the great things that NCW Life is doing for the community from a news and advertising perspective. Um, and I think it makes a lot of sense. I mean, these days, as news consumers, we're not tied to a specific platform, right? We get news on our, on our phones, on our TVs, um, in print, online, everywhere. Um, and so this partnership just made a lot of sense um, and was, when it came across our desk, an easy answer for us, uh, which was yes. Now, the two of you have been involved in media for some time, Riley, you with WIC. Sean, you're also on the board of the State Newspaper Association. Yep. Yeah, WNPA. Are you familiar with any other relationships like this, say, in the state of Washington, where a newspaper and a TV station have close ties and, or mutual ownership? You know, for the most part, no, especially not at this level. I think it's a really unique opportunity, and that's because of NCW Life. Um, there is, I, I believe in Spokane, maybe there is a, an ownership relationship that maybe precedes some things when television first came in. Uh, but no, that's on a different scale, right? That's network affiliation and such. And I think when you're talking about local news and local brand and local presence, there, there isn't anything I'm aware of like this. So how do the two of you see this relationship progressing? How would the two enterprises best work together? Riley, what do you think? Well, I mean, I think for now, we're focused on learning about the NCW Life operation. You know, we, again, see so much value in the work that is already being done um, by the staff that works here every day. 
Um, and so for the foreseeable future, from the reader and viewer perspective, very little is going to change. So the broadcast will still be available on local cable, so both local tele TV and charter spectrum. It'll still be available online through the website, through YouTube, through social media, and the same on the Wenatchee World site. So you know, you, our customers, our subscribers are still gonna be able to get the same information and news they were always getting in print and digital in the same places. Um, you know, we are going to work together uh, on both sides of the operation to figure out really how we can expand. So um, there's always more news locally, even in a small place like Wenatchee, than we have the time to cover every day. Um, there's more small businesses who are trying to get the word out about their, uh, their services and their products than they have the time to dedicate every day as well. So this is not an, oper this is not an area where we um, see a lot of consolidation in the near term. And I think that's a big question that people have is like, does this mean that the two brands are going away? Um, there's something new coming? And the answer right now is no. This is a cup that is not full. There's more to be done on both sides. From a news perspective, Sean, this brings me to the question, you know, your organization in the world and NCW Live have for a long time been sort of chasing some of the same stories, trying to get ahead of each other, occasionally breaking news that the other one missed. We've had a competitive news environment. Do you want to see uh, reporters and, and news directors between the two entities collaborating, or do you want us to pursue you know, parallel paths where there's some kind of uh, continuing competitive relationship there? That's a really good way to phrase that. I, I think what Riley was saying initially is that it's important that we do what we both do best right now yep. and we understand and learn how those things can fit together and i think we'll probably be doing some strategizing in the coming weeks as we head into the new for us budget year and we have to understand how things can best fit together and it probably means some big ideas and it probably really starts with doing some little things that we can execute together and make sure everybody gets what we need out of it, right? It might yeah. be some stuff in high school sports where we we cover preps and you guys do an amazing job with it. Maybe we can put something together. And I think a lot of those good ideas are gonna come from the staff. So there will be a little bit of work trying to get them to be comfortable sharing yeah. with each other. How was the news received in the uh, Wenatchee World Building? We got the news here at NCW Life yesterday and your staff over there got the news. How was it received? You know, I think pretty well. We have, we have uh, we have two other. We have two businesses. We have a manufacturing business that prints our paper and others, and we have uh, the media business. And Riley and I stopped at the media side first, talked to news and advertising, and then we went over to the production side. And uh, really, what made me feel good at the uh, at, at Ninth Street, our world printing facility, is we had a couple people. One who's kind of a junior press person, and somebody from packaging, and then one of the managers that were really excited about it and thought this was an amazing opportunity. Um, and that's not to discount the media side, but we have. Have reporters over there and they're very uh, focused on asking hard questions uh, that we don't have the answers to right now and we have salespeople over there that are going to be working with um, in the same market right now and we have to figure out you know people there's no one more competitive than a good salesperson so we don't have all the answers to those things but I see us moving together and whatever this becomes it's going to be different than what we're doing right now and that's that's change and change is going to be difficult and I know that there's a lot of people uh, in this organization too that have been kind of wondering and wh where that's going to go and now they have more questions not more answers. Now that brings up another question in media acquisitions oftentimes we see the media uh, entities have to shrink, have to cut, have to furlough, have to trim back. Do you see Riley in the in the near term any changes along those lines for either the world or for the NCW life operation? Yeah, there's nothing in the works for that right now. Um, but you know, I would think about this from, you know, it's easy to think about it from the perspective of Wenatchee and what these two organizations have done in terms of the Wenatchee ecosystem in the Valley. But I think about it from the kind of more global perspective of what's happening across the industry. Um, you know, there was a report out that within the past decade, a fifth of newspapers in Washington alone have closed. We hear those all the time, those stats that, you know, two or three a week are closing across the US. Um, let alone the investment or lack thereof that's being made in local broadcast and other local media. So I think about this from the standpoint of we're committed to seeing local journalism continue in the Wenatchee Valley. And to that end, we are a stronger organization together. There's just no question about it. We can reach more people. We can reach more advertisers. Our new subscribers will get more information. We have the ability to collaborate and, and cover certain areas in ways that we didn't before. 
rather than writing two versions of the same story that came from, say, a press release or a breaking news event, we can do it complementary in different mediums and take the extra time and capacity and go out and do the longer, more investigative stories that we as reporters and former reporters like to do and that readers like to read. Um, so I think it really is just going to extend our reach and our ability to, over time, serve the community better. One of the questions that came up from our community and from readers and, and listeners and viewers was, well, the Wenatchee world operates on a paywall system, subscription system. If you have a subscription, you can read everything. If you're yep. not subscribed, you will hit a paywall eventually. Um, do you foresee a paywall system in place for NCW Live content? Again, no plans at all for that right now. Um, and I mean, it also, I think, doesn't quite fit the medium that, that y'all are accustomed to working in, right? So by its nature, local TV is, is different from kind of online news, paywall content. Um, but at the same time, you know, while that's not in the cards now, in the long term, local journalism needs to be paid for, right? So um, it's a thing that keeps all three of us here employed every day. Um, and the way that the community can support this is by subscribing to their local newspaper, is by donating to things like local radio and public broadcasting, is by shopping at advertisers who choose to advertise in our mediums. So if you're going to Doghouse Motorsports or you know a Chamber of Commerce member, Saints from Motors, all these people who are choosing to invest their dollars in supporting not just getting their word out, but supporting local news. There are a lot of places that people can advertise now. You can go to Facebook ads and place your own ads. You could go to Google ads and do the same. You can call up Amazon and do the same. But when you invest those dollars here, you're making an impact in more than just getting your word out. So, Yeah, and I would add to that. I mean, the Wenatchee world produces and shares an awful lot of information and news right now for free. We have daily headline newsletters that go out every day. We have them by subject matter. We have the stuff that goes up on social media. And if you want to read deeper, then you can. And you need to support the website to do so. But as Riley said, right now the model um, is not destined to change, but I think that we already do some of both right now. It's part of how we pull people in. I mean, they need to understand if this is for me, if I want to know what's going on in my community, I want that depth of reporting, mm -hmm. then right now, at least with the Wenatchee World, that's been what we require. And uh, it gets frustrating for people, but um, what NCW Life is doing here with, with free access to the news that you're producing is not different from larger TV markets, right? And the Seattle Times competes with Cairo and, and King 5. So I think we kind of knew going in, and honestly, our model for our paywall changed this year. And it changed two years before that. And it was wide open during COVID. So we're learning and iterating as we go. And I think the important thing is that, you know, Riley uh, and I and then the whole team will be, we just got to, we got to learn what, what each other do and then figure out how that's going to work best. And on the subject of paywalls, it's true that during major emergencies, things like COVID, wildfires, yes. the Wenatchee world has always had a policy of dropping that paywall and letting people right. have the crucial news that they need at the moment. It is true. It also, though, confuses people because they don't know why or what dictates what's going to be free. They just know they got a glimpse of the story once and not another time. And I, I think that um, helping as we go along the way to communicate with with our two audiences, what we're doing is going to be really critical because other people will, well, you know, we, we want them to understand what we're trying to do as we figure it out. So communication's supposed to be the business we're in, so we'll try to do a better job of that. Yeah. How much did we cost, Riley? So we, uh, we aren't disclosing the terms of the deal, um, as you can imagine. Um, but I will say that uh, this, for us, again, was an easy decision. Um, because, again, we want to not just support the local news and work you're doing, we want to carry on the legacy that the Mandelis family and local tell have, have uh, carried on from Apple Valley TV. And um, you know, the same that Wick has done with the Woods family. Um, you know, this station will remain locally managed and family owned. That's rare. That is rare. And it's sitting alongside a newspaper that is locally managed and family owned also very rare so other thoughts from the two of you before we close Riley no I mean I would just say you know please um, please be patient with us and, and work with us as we figure out the future for what this entity looks like um, both the Wenatchee World side and NCW Life um, it's easy to reach us so Sean likes to say you can reach him <laughs> as easy as you can reach anyone else in our organization on um, mm -hmm. the same way you can find Jefferson's contact info if you'd like to share feedback about his news as well um, Please, we do want to hear from folks about what they want from their local media entity. So, anything else we should know, Sean? 
You know, I, it's just a very exciting time in media on the very local level, but also on the very large level. There's a lot of change going on, and that, that can be exciting. It can lead to opportunities. And so um, I think this is great. I mean, I really do, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We're only a few blocks uh, walk down from each other, and uh, we already are collaborating on other levels too with uh, grant funded journalists and, and things like this. It's a very different and exciting time in media, and I'm glad to be part of it. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, and in touch. Localtel cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with your choice of speed makes life better. If you need fast, reliable internet, or maybe an upgrade, or you just have questions, connect with us by visiting localtel.com or call 509-888-8888 today. At Local Myth Pizza, we believe in real food. Freshly prepared with only premium ingredients. Our cheeses are imported from Italy. Our sauces, dressings, and even our sausages are made in-house fresh daily. Featuring Northwest craft beers and 30 Chelan Valley wines and ciders. Family fun and amazing food. Eat local, drink local, and be local at Local Myth Pizza. Come see why Sunset Magazine says you can't beat Local Myth Pizza. At Highline Homes, we know that kids can come home at any stage of life. Whether your kids are coming home or coming back home, we've got the perfect custom-built home solution for you and your family. Highline Homes has up to 100% financing packages available through our select lenders. View our many floor plans at HighlineHomes.com or visit one of our model homes in Oregon, Washington, California, or Idaho. Then you're well on your way to building that perfect dream home for the next phase of your life. Nice crib. Nice crib. Highline Homes. On your lot, on time, Bill right. Welcome to the Gilded Lily home, where something extraordinary is waiting. Fall has arrived at the Gilded Lily. Luscious colors of rust, orange, and gold lead you throughout the entire store. Gourmet foods to delight your guests. Stylish linens, handcrafted jewelry. The Gilded Lily home, where you can step in for inspiration and leave with beautiful items for your home, your kitchen, your lifestyle. When you've been in business for 40 years, it's because you understand change and you put members first, always. Now Works is announcing a change in their membership model. Up to six people on one membership that you can mix and match. The more people, the bigger the discounts. Introducing the Works shared membership model. One membership, friends and family and flexibility. Works, the cleanest, friendliest, most helpful gyms you and your friends will ever join. That's our new super delayed transition. What do you think? Still 43 degrees, lots of sunshine. It'll be a beautiful day today, a get out and go kind of day. Friday morning looking good. Friday afternoon, another story altogether. I want to repeat the slide that we showed you at the start of the program. The one thing that the National Weather Service is very confident about is the timing of the cold front and the strength of the cold front. What they don't really know is how much precipitation we're going to get. It's going to come in very fast. So here comes the wind, which means blowing dust. Hopefully nothing like they had on Sunday afternoon out in eastern Washington. They had a significant dust storm that caused all kinds of havoc. But get ready for some blowing dust. A lot of, uh, you know, fields uh, have been worked over. And there's no vegetation to hold the dirt and the soil to the ground. And whew, there you go. So watch out for some blowing dust. Now, as far as rain is concerned here in the Wenatchee Valley, we don't know. We're in the lee of the Cascades, and it looks like a lot of that rain may simply fall in the Cascades before it even makes it to north central Washington, or some of the rain may make it all the way here. That is the unknown precipitation tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. What we do know is it's going to be windy from the National Weather Service in detail. Lots of sunshine today. We'll top off at about uh, 69 degrees. Those days are one day off. It says Wednesday through Tuesday, but that's actually today's forecast you see there on the far left. 43 for the overnight low tonight. Friday morning, sunshine. Friday afternoon, clouds. Cold front, wind. 
uh, sustained winds at 20 miles an hour, that's pretty good. Gusts above 30 at times. And again, we don't really know how much rain, if any, we're going to get. We'll have a better grip on this tomorrow morning, so don't miss that. Friday night, the rain died, whatever rain we get tapers off. The wind dies down 44 for the overnight low. No complaints about the weekend. 69 on Saturday, 73 on on a Sunday, Monday, 77. I'm liking that. That's warm. That's very, very warm. Keep in mind our normal uh, high this time of the year is in the 60s. So we're back in for another bit of a heat wave once we get through the next couple of days. That's it for us. Have a great Thursday. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.